eerie episode of Evolving Eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend, uh, living in the same apartment complex. Kana. Hello, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, sure opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two soda cans. Aren't you curious? Uh, what weird fists did he bring this time? She grins. Oh shit, it's kind of like our bud now. Look, we've got a an ally. Minus one damage received in combat. Ooh, that's pretty good. Kana, what a babe. She's gonna take all the hits for me. Uh, let's go to... Let's all go to the beach. beach. Let's go get away. In the summer of 1971, a whole class trip fell into the sea when the rock they were standing on collapsed. They didn't find the bodies until now. Class of 1971. We can turn them into like 95% chance to hit if we wanted. Like boop, 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 bam, boop, 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 bam. That was 14 damage, we kill it in two rounds of combat. Oh, uh, we can't kill it with the equalizer. Oh no, we can. We can do 10 damage, because it is an eldritch being. Boom, it's time to equalize everybody uh, with the old executioner's blow. Bam, love it. Not too savage, we did take a hit, but eh. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. We just got cursed. Ah, oh, shit the bed. You may be, crying, be, be going crazy, but you swear someone's watching us. We now have paranoia. Oh, shit. What does that do? Each time you lose stamina, you lose reason as well. Oh, that's a bad one. Uh, the creepy neighbor, they, they've got jars in his apartment. We gotta look into this. Okay. While looking around the ransacked room of a recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin is a ghastly pale yellow color. Ooh, Christmas check. Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you a new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. Plus five experience. Why, that's just great. The dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? Oh god, I'm a bit like... A bit like sad about the paranoia. The pool is empty at this hour. It's dark, but you could swear something suddenly moved under the surface of the water. I don't want to go in- I'm not going into the water. That instantly feels like a bad call. You turn on the lights. Luckily for you, no horrors lurk in the water! Plus one reason! Uh, the neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled, filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky! Don't you feel like shit's watching us? Kana, please. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're crazy. Mr. Oh, 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 your neighbor is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Uh, share our experiences. Maybe that would work. So I think this is meant to be your boy, Junji Ito, class of 71. Like, just tell him that story. That's kind of, kind of fucking spooky. Um, share our experience. Oh. Incredible! He shouts uh, in excitement. How do you come up with this stuff? Uh, sensing the story will be a huge hit, he pays you. Uh, so we lose some experience, but we got some cash. Eh, Kana. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's check it out. God, I don't want to get into like a spooky fight with a, like a eel monster. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our... Real lord and saviour, the day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other end of the line. You definitely don't like the way this man on the other side of the line puts an accent on. Real! Hello? Are you still there? I feel like maybe listening to the man. <gasps> oh. You learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man said was the truth, humanity is doomed. Minus 5% doom? Okay. Minus 3 reason. So we can go and rest and get some of that reason back. Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must be in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. That's weird. Your neighbor was really into eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Uh, burnt notes. Uh, eels of the perfectu could lay their eggs inside a human. Kana. 
put the eel down. Um, I might even, like, double rest. Like, it gave us a whole load of doom, but... I feel like we're getting close to... Old Eel Lord 5000, and there's gonna be a body full of eels. You hear rustling on the other side of the apartment door. Someone's trying to get in. Uh, apartment stalker? Okay, he is not Eldritch. That is one thing I can tell you. We can only get two attacks of that, and that's 12 damage. I feel like we risk getting... How much do we have left? We can then pump things twice. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. And then if this hits as well, that will be 15 damage. And then we can kill him off more easily next turn. Shit. Oh, uh, okay. Feels bad. Have we got a concussion? What the hell? Minus one to knowledge. Ow, my head! Feels bad. But we should kill him. Two things, 95% chance to hit. Six damage each. Good. Blammo. Luckily, old uh, axe works pretty well. Ooh, baseball bat. Hello there. Okay, there must be something we could learn. I'll try and break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw the damn jar in the trash. I think she's gonna die. I think she is gonna have eels planted inside her. Uh, thinking about how stupid Karna is trying to break into your neighbor's apartment and you go to sleep. Karna! Waiting for Karna. Where the hell is she? I'm pretty sure she is gonna be full of eel babies. Suddenly everything goes silent. Uh, the cursed chants amplified by the cave system make you dizzy. To your horror, you notice the sounds awaken something else. Mo, the time warper. 22, we can just do the like, oh, we don't even have to super prepare. If we like just do that, are they gonna guaranteed hit? Wow, how do we miss? We had, we're on like 105% chance to hit. Okay, if everything lands, it does kill him, but there's a lot of like 80, 85% chances to do stuff. Let's hope for the best. Good. Good. Blammo! Boom, there you go. Get fucking time warped, buddy. Kana's been missing since yesterday. You decide to check on the neighbor's apartment yourself. Kana! My girl. Oh, Kana. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, you cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You're shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Check the bedroom. Check the bathroom. Escape. Okay, if we escape, we definitely get the bad option, but we do solve the mystery. We could try and fight. Oh my god, this feels bad. Where's it gonna be? I feel like the bathroom. I feel like you would fill the bathtub with water, you'd put Karna in it, and then put the um, put the eels in. Does that make sense? Is that what you'd do? Like, we've got to save our friend. Like, if your friend is, like, stuck somewhere, you've got to go and do it. Oh! The swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside the putrid murky water. Both his eyes are missing, with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Minus one reason, minus one stamina. Fuck! Okay, well that was the other neighbor that went missing. So, someone in the bedroom, in the bathroom, but it wasn't Kana. We could still save her. Uh-oh. You finally find Kana. I found the neighbor, but when his eye bursted, I slipped on blood and I lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now. Go to the hospital. We must puncture her eye now. That's nasty. I think we try and take her to hospital. If I stab her in the eye, I'm gonna go mad. To hospital. Uh, you rush to hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taking you immediately to the operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area, fall asleep. Don't we have a concussion? Isn't it really bad to like fall asleep without getting that looked at? Uh, when you woke up, it's already night. Uh, trying to ask about your friend. Uh, you're met with weird reactions as if she never existed. Uh, you rush the operating theater yourself, but you're stopped by an armed policeman. Whatever happened, the doctors must have been too late to help. They're still trying to process the events of a previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs in eyes. Oh my god, that sounds horrible. Sitting before your apartment building, you watch as police officers empty your neighbor's place. You wonder if you'll ever hear from your friend again. The eerie episode of Evolving Eels, ending B. Ah, oh, we should have fucking stabbed her in the eye, shouldn't we? Shit. There's something wrong with the tap water. It's black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. 
Oh, uh, that's bad. That means that we can't have a bath anymore. They still don't fix the water problem. It's black and oily and glistening. Use bottled water. Okay, well, that's not as nice a, nice a wash, is it? You mystery? Oh, man, I'm really sad we lost Kana. Kana was, like, legit, legit a badass. Um, oh, yeah, we can ding. Faster combat actions for each ally you have. We could try and get some more friends. Being faster. Being faster sounds more good. And I'm gonna get reason, because... Um, we're kind of going fucking mad. Uh, what should we do? The Chilling Chronicles of a Crimson Cape! Chilling Chronicles of a Crimson Cape. A new game is spreading amongst your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school bath restroom after classes. A dare to beat Akamanto. Gather gossip about the current mystery. Uh, so if we go to the schoolyard, we can do that. Oh. Who are these people? Observe. Ask to join us. Share creepy story. Latest gossip. It's been hard to get any sleep. Okay, that doesn't really help. Uh, do you want to join us? If what you're saying is true, we've got no time to lose. Okay. Student F. Plus one luck. Very much into that. Uh, I keep hearing a wailing sound coming from the third stall of the girl's bathroom. Ten points if you get it through her stomach! Uh, can you join me? Sounds strange, but I believe you. Nice. Okay. Plus one dex. Hikaru. And... Katie. Kill! <laughs> oh my god. Are you guys sure you don't want to join me? I was just thinking about killing my friends. You are always such a kidder! Give me a break. Give me a break. Wait. Uh... Shit, I thought we could get them. If someone didn't do those drawings, then who did? He wasn't the same since he came back. Forced to help us. Oh my god, should we do it? Share a creepy story. He seems visibly shaken by your story. It's just a story, right? Well, now join us. If what you're saying is true. Oh my god, we have got the posse. Um, creepy story. Nice! Plus one perception. Plus one strength. Boom! What a team. Uh, let's just do some investigating. Um, I'm worried that Doom is kind of creeping up. Oh, what is this? Needs Kazumi Nakawa. We don't have her as an ally. Getting access to the student database would certainly stream up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while, talk to her. Christmas check success. Unannounced inspection, she asks. Thank you for telling me. While the receptionist is busy updating some boring papers, uh, you copy the names and addresses from the database, plus 10 experience. Maybe there's mentions of Akamanto in the city's library. Uh, we can do that. We could also, like, maybe buy something. Surprise discount item. It's an empty bottle! What a joke! Uh, we shall investigate downtown. Oh my god, did you see? We had, like, a big... The mega crew. Uh, you're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend who is waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you last seen her. These days she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Uh, maybe she knows something useful. Should we just go for a coffee? Uh, in between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about the old gods slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Could this be the reason for the recent horrific events? All the girls that were missing were apparently members of the swimming team. Man, that swimming team has had a bad fucking time. Either you get axed up and turned into a mermaid, or you go missing in the bathroom? Should we try and get gossip again? <gasps> Give me the gossip. Yesterday she told me she saw it again. Do you want to join me? <laughs> Hooray! We did it! Um, Kohaku. Extra charisma. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. I like that we've got the big, like, the big posse. Uh, one of the articles mentions a young doctor performing life-saving surgery on victims of brutal assault that happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital. Uh, when the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as you pass by. I see dead people. Let them know they aren't alone? Sure. Ooh. The patient instantly recognizes a kindred soul in you. 
Uh, you help them sneak out of the hospital and they join you on your quest. Okay, we now have too many friends. Uh, Kazumi. Uh, cheaper treatment and surgery. The principal has ordered the school closed. Uh, you must get in and save your friend. Okay, well, hopefully the crew is here. Ooh, search the flat with your flashlight. Um, okay, we did buy that flashlight. We're gonna, we're gonna take that. Uh, it's been almost a year since your childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove all the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In an envelope, he says you can find a key to his apartment. Well, we've got the flashlight. We've got to do it. We've got to use that. You shine the flashlight ritual robe. Hello. Something glitters at you. You grab it as the moving company enters the house. What do you do? Additional magic slot. We haven't even cast our... This spell. What does our spell do again? Oh yeah, it costs reason. Gives us knowledge and perception until the end of the mystery. Okay, you break the window, you get into the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Let's go! Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Uh, we don't have you, so stare in disbelief. Charisma check successful. How is that possible? Minus one reason. There's no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squeak. The sound of rubber boots and an unknown liquid dripping onto the tile. Squish, squeak. You can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door slowly opens. It's time for us to get pretty fucking axe happy, I think. Uh, a man dressed in a red coat, clearly too high for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Tell me. His voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? Okay, right. My guesstimate is if I say red paper, he's going to stab us. <laughs> and if we say blue paper, he's going to do something else. Does blue kind of hit my reason? Hopefully it hits my reason. Minus five stamina. Looks like I just fucking die then. Uh, grabs you by the neck and starts choking you. You kick him and rush to the door. Hear a click coming from the door's direction. You're locked in here with this crazy man. Oh my god, 30 health. Uh, we're gonna have to be pretty good on the old dodging. Poor actions. Ask your ally to distract the enemy. We could try doing that and like a dodge. Oh, wow, dodging is really cheap. Wait, oh. Oh my god, all of our things are pretty cheap now. Because we've got so many fucking goons with us. Someone do a distract. I'm definitely gonna pull two dodges. That feels like it makes sense. See how that works? Okay, both- Oh my god, fuck! Both dodges worked, but he still hits us. You'll die at the beginning of the next encounter. Well, if we resolve this, maybe we'll get enough experience to ding and then we can heal ourselves? Okay, how fast are these now? How much did that, like, ally helping worked? We'll do three of three dodges. God, man, dodges are cheap now. Oh my god. God, he hits hard. He stabs me multiple times, hitting us for four stamina. Uh, well, he's only got nine health left. You know what time it is. It's time for the equalizer, um, but we are going to queue up two equalizers and like an extra hit just in case, because we have missed an auto hit in the past. <sighs> Blammo, we got him, but we've been stabbed a lot of times. Uh, oh wait. Uh, blood flowing from the wounds in the tall man's red coat. Makes it look like the man was slowly melting. You hear cackling coming from behind the mask. And faint. Uh, oh, and faint. Uh, when you wake up, he's gone. Somehow you know he'll be back in another stall. Another school. Another city. Continuing the horror. Ah, and then we fucking die! <laughs> Shit! Resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health. Weakened, you finally succumb to your injuries, alone. As the dust settles- What do you mean alone? I've got like a thousand friends. I, like, what, what happened to all my buds? Shit. Come on! Oh, that was bad. Shit, like, I didn't realize that dude- Going into that fight, that dude was gonna choke us. If he hadn't have choked us, we would have lived, but... Instead of getting the information we needed, we just went round making loads of friends. Oh hey, it's me, Canna! I sure hope I don't run into any problems with any eels. 
or anything comes out of my eye, or someone tries to burst my eye, all of those be super bad. I hope you feel the same way. If you do, put a like. You know where this was going. Uh, in turn, if you want to see some more World of Horror, let me know. See ya.